Welcome back. Now, this time, we're going with the boy. I'm mad about the boy. You are the wisest of men, sir, except for my master. Please follow me. The desert lies ahead. You will never make it through without my help. It is good that you have come. The captain sent word to me that you were here. Though in truth, I have been expecting you for some time. That voice is kind of irritating, right? I am Al Sarit, the first of six guardians who serve the goddess. She who gives the power of life and regeneration through her sacred cup, which you know as the Grail. We who are the six guardians will test you in different ways. We will pass your mind, spirit. We will test your mind, spirit, and body. You must pass each one of us before the goddess will relinquish her sacred cup to you. Excuse me, master. I have fed and watered the mule for your guest, as you have said. Thank you, Hazem. Wait with the mule until our guest is ready to leave. Then you will guide him in secret away from Gaza. I am a scholar. I have spent my life in study and meditation. I am at your disposal to share what knowledge I may. He's going to give us some really good stuff. And please allow me to offer you kawa to drink and fix to eat. It is simple fare, but it is all that I have. Ask about... Oops. About guardians. There are six you must pass. I am the first. Ask about second. Okay. Though there are many questions I'm willing to answer, I will only answer those I deem significant. Ask about goddess. The goddess gave birth to the universe by many names and faces. She is known as virgin, mother, and crone, as birth, growth, and death. I serve her in the form of Aphrodite, but she has six other manifestations which must concern you. You will not reach the grail unless you learn of these six goddesses. There are six. The, these are the names of the six goddesses. Athene, Vesta, Isis, Astarte, Ceres, and... Okay, and they, they, these are their symbols. This is the symbol of Athene, which I have to write down now. Okay. This is the symbol of Vesta. Okay. This is the symbol of Isis. No, I'm not going to make jokes. The goddess was here first. This is the symbol of Estarte. Okay, we're now starting to challenge my drawing skills a little bit. Also, it looks a bit like a Harry Potter reference. Okay. This is the symbol of... Okay. Okay. This is the symbol of Venus. This one I can draw. That is six goddesses and six symbols. He who came before you searched long and far, yet he did not come here, though I sent Hazam with an, with an invitation. I know nothing more of him save that he reached Jerusalem, but has not succeeded in his quest. Six guardians stand between you and the sacred cup. Six times you will be judged and weighed and tested. There will be tests of mind, spirit, and body. Um, if you're one of them, what's my test? If you prevail, the goddess will relinquish her guardianship of the sacred cup, 
what you call the Holy Grail will pass into your hands, and its powers of regeneration will be yours. Thank you. You are most welcome. Stand. Bow. Okay, he doesn't bow. Ugh, this guy again. I knew you must come this way and see I have gotten here before you and waited. You will never survive this desert without my help. Hire me and I will be your guide. No, I'm okay. Thanks. Let's see if I can remember what we did last time. We went like this, right? I am happy to see you again. You were lucky to find this water without me. I have quenched my thirst already. Please drink your fill. I'm just going to keep on keeping on here. Come, come, have a drink. Why do you hesitate? I fear the sight of you was too much for that poor girl. She ran as though you were an evil djinn. Okay, I saw her getting... Whoops. I saw her getting water. So, presumably, below you, in a lethal fall from here, I might add, is a long pool of fresh water. Okay. I played enough Sierra games to know. Okay, cool. I didn't die. I just walked down some stairs. Good enough for the donkey, good enough for me. The waters of the Pool of Salome are cold and pure and fill you with relief. Just standing in it. Your mule certainly seems to be enjoying it. Remember earlier... So earlier in his desk, Merlin had that thing that he was working on translating, and I can't remember if I had him read the translation for me when in the video or when I was just playing around on my own. But just to remind you, or tell you for the first time, the scroll Merlin was translating was about how useful a mule is. Mules are incredibly useful. So far, this mule led me into a teleportation trap, which I guess was fine, prevented me from drinking poison, and that's it. Oh, watch your step, Arthur. You can't afford to be careless. I just didn't feel like taking the stairs. Apparently, Arthur's kind of clumsy. Hey, look at city. This is where I'm going. As you approach Jerusalem, bear in mind that you are one lone foreigner surrounded by dangerous and hostile natives. Be warned, infidel. He said something had happened so fast. Um, I think he wants money, but I didn't see what it was. I'm not going to pull my sword on the guy, just... You may pass, infidel. Be on your way before we tire of your ugly face. And I died. I fell off a very dramatic quest. There's no cause to swear at me, Arthur. It's your own clumsiness. Now, pick yourself up, dust yourself off, and we'll start all over again. Wow, really? Huh, they must raise some clumsy fools where you come from. I wasn't trying to fall off the mountain. I was just trying to walk that way. Although I do like that it didn't kill me. That's very not Sierra of it. Hey, you, you must pay me a fee to enter Jaffa Gate. Whatever you can afford, but you must pay. I can afford that. By my beard, Arthur, I believe he was a fraud.
So this is the Bazaar of Jerusalem. How weird it is. Bizarre. Tiny shop lines for both sides. Tiny shops line both sides of the street, and such smells, delicious foods combined with the raw sewage in the gutter. Watch where you go. Watch where you step. Arthur, that thief has grabbed your purse. Hey, God, that's my. I am not sure this is going to be a great idea. Oh, come on! Okay, somebody drew a naked lady on the wall. The lower window is bricked up. Only a skinny man could squeeze into the upper window if he had the means to reach it. I am now broke. That is a happy donkey. A most formidable looking man, but with an honest face. I would say he was previously a soldier who's gone into business selling what he knows best. Though the mule is here, she looks even more unhappy than with when you started this trip, really? That mule looks ecstatic. Your mule is safe, Habib. I thought I had best remain and guard her against other thieves. They are a plague in Jerusalem. I am not surprised you returned for her. She is exceptionally well-bred and well-mannered mule. I have... I use many mules in my travels, and am a good judge. It's time for the mule to be useful to us one last time. Habib, if you would truly part with such an excellent mule, I will gladly give you all the money I have upon me. It is a good sum, but this fine mule is worth every coin. In this purse you will find two dinars. That is our gold coin. There are also two dirhams, these are silver, and some falls. Fall is a copper coin. Since I see you do not understand, here's the way of it. Four falls are worth one dirham. Four dirham are worth one dinar. Let me write this down. Four to one. It's four to one, right? And now I must go meet the caravan that awaits me. May Allah grant you fortune. Bye, Mule. I hope you're happy in your new life. Okay. Now is a complicated part of this whole thing. Fresh hot falafels for a hungry man made from the finest ground chickpeas with ground sesame seed flavored with parsley, onion, and garlic. Buy falafel. Falafel? I don't know how to spell falafels. Give it to me again. It is a heavy metal cauldron filled with bubbling oil. She appears to partake liberally of her own food. Talk to a woman. Tell me how to spell falafel again. Fell. A fells. Only one fowl for one of my delish delicious falafels. Help yourself. But you must eat it quickly or it will crumble. My falafels are as delicate as they are delicious. He is a young boy, a half-starved, ragged or, or urchin who is surely alone in the world. What a pathetic sight. There, you may have a falafel. Do you have anything to say to me? By the way, they all speak English, which is great. No good trying to talk to him. He never says a word. Not a tooth left in his head anyway. He has been here for days begging for crumbs. Ah, uh, it is a cruel world when no one will help another. Lady, you're the one not giving him food. Observe, if you will, the quality of my fabrics. You will find none finer, even if you journeyed to Constantinople. And indeed, some have come from twice as far. See the exquisite colors, the glowing patterns, the perfect weave of these silks from the Orient, and these mar magnificent linens that will keep you cool when the sun scorches the earth, and, by its virtue of absorbing moisture, will keep you dry. Then perhaps you came from a colder clime, as indeed your armor would hint. 
see my beautifully dyed woolens and feel the perfection of their natural oils. Uh, yeah, he just wants to let me feel up his fabric. Oh my goodness, we've got a lot of people here. King Arthur, I know your purpose here. It is given to me to know such things, for I am a seeress. Another came from your land, and his name was Galahad. He spoke of you, for if he failed, he knew only you might follow and succeed. But as a servant of the goddess, I must know if you are worthy. I bid you buy an apple, for this fruit is sacred to Aphrodite. One apple, and one only, I will sell you. Here are your choices. If you give me one fall, I will give you an apple that is only an apple, and nothing more. Eat, and it will taste good. If you give me one derhim, I will give you an apple that will satisfy all your hunger, slake all your thirst, and ease all your weariness. If you give me one dinar, I will give you an apple that is bitter to the tongue, yet you will know the taste of truth. Take a dinar, sister. Take this, and by my command, eat of it. You have chosen wisely, for the apple has conferred upon you a truth spell. Whenever you speak within, whoever you speak within this bazaar from this moment on will confide to you his or her most secret and urgent need. Dude, I want that apple. To prove your full worthiness to me, and thus be led closer to your goal, you must fulfill these tasks revealed to you by the truth spell. Your heart and mind will guide you. Okay. I may have already done this. Talk to boy. No good trying to talk to him. It's a cruel world. Well, I should not be telling you this, but all day long I cook falafels. Every day I eat falafels. Not that they are not delicious, but I am tired of falafels. I dream of lamb. A nice, fresh cut of lamb. Lamb and falafel. Oh, that would be paradise. So she wants some lamb. What shall I do? What shall I do? I have been betrayed by Marie the Wicked, Marie the Vain. For my brief moment of weakness, I shall lose my beloved wife. You are a man, you will understand. I dallied but once with the woman Marie, who lives above the shop of Muhammad, but I left behind a silken veil. Not any veil, a veil of supreme, a veil supreme in the mastery of the weaver's art, of glorious color and pattern. Marie refuses to return it to me. I promise this veil to my wife is proof of my devotion. If I fail to bring it to her, she will leave me. I would do anything, pay anything to avert that. Dude's got it bad. Oh look, here's Muhammad's shop. Can I go in Muhammad's shop? Nope. Let's see what this guy wants. I have but two wishes in the world. One is that the wind which blows down the street will not change, so that the smell of fish stays away from my shop. The other, why to sell you something, a mug or a bowl of earthenware, perhaps. Inside, under lock and key, I have fine silver plates and goblets. I have a few other items, probably of no interest to you, such as mirrors. Well, a mirror sounds useful. I actually have a plan. I have a nice mirror for only two dormas. He wants to sell me something. Open purse. I hope not everything else is going to be that expensive. I'm going to run out of money. One moment, Tubby There you are, a very fine mirror. All right, so she lives up there. Call Marie. Hello, Marie. Whoa. Hmm, so who are you with lungs like the hems in the all-powerful wind? I see you are a foreigner, but from the look of you, not a very rich one. I only have time for rich men. Here, you're vain. It is true, I'm as beautiful as they say, even more so. Huh, and they say mirrors cannot lie. 
Okay. I think I screwed that up. I definitely screwed that up. <laughs> she just took it and walked off. Silly me. If you are a friend of Abraham, then you are no friend of mine. He prefers his wife to me, the scoundrel. Let him suffer. He will never get the veil from me. Unless, of course, you care to bring me something of greater value. Something that would allow me to see my great beauty as others see it. Catch! Yep, that's what I want. If you could just toss that down to me, that'd be great. Thank you. It's wiggling. And mirrors cannot lie. There. Ya Allah, it is the veil, the very veil. Habibi, you are forever my brother. I have had time to dwell upon my foolishness. I will never be unfaithful to my beloved wife again. Thank you. May you live long and bear many sons. That's it? I just saved your... Okay, I get to see him kissing his wife. I just saved your marriage. What I got is, you're my brother, be well. You couldn't give me some fabric. What a jerk. Let's see. Somebody on this street's got to be selling meat, right? I want only to sell my fish in peace without the snarls and threats of my neighbors, Ali and Fawaz. They complain that my fish stinks and that the wind blows the smell into their shops. What can I do? Fish smell like fish. Am I to change the very nature of life itself? Command the winds not to blow? I will work on that. Oh, this guy's going back and forth. Alright, he'll be back here in a second, I'm sure. There he is. He's angry and he won't sit still. Okay. Tis odd. I feel like I must... Uh, that although I am content with my lot, for I am an honest man, I would be happier still if my cousin Ahmed had not broken his oath to me and thus ruined our friendship. Do you wonder why I'm angry? It is the stink of fish I must endure every day. The foul, damnable stink of fish would drive any man to fury. No one will ever know a day's peace from me as long as I smell that stinking fish. A curse upon that fishmonger. Can I buy some lamb? Be gone, heathen. I do not like the look of you, and I will serve only who I please. And today it does not please me to serve anyone. You're a bad businessman. Okay. That bust looks a little like Donald Trump. Am I am I crazy? Oh, you should recognize the continuance, the the continents of the greatest Roman general, Julius Caesar. Wow. Truly, if I could have anything in the world, it would be your money. Yes, that is what I desire most. Your money. Ah, what possessed me to say such a thing? Forgive me, Habibi. What can I say? I have a. I meant to say that I have a special on saints' relics today. Reasonable prices. At night I suffer from the cold. I have only this brazier in which to burn charcoal, my only source of warmth. Men fear to come near me, and I can no longer walk upon my rotted limbs. I must rely on the goodness of strangers such as yourself to bring me charcoal so I do not suffer in the night. Okay. This guy looks like he's got charcoal, right? And some sweetly pungent herbs. What if I want the herbs? One dirham for the herbs. A good sized bag of charcoal for two falls. Here's the charcoal. Buy herbs. Open purse. Here are the herbs, pungent herbs. Ah, what is this? What, do you, what a wonderful smell these herbs have. How very potent and aromatic. I shall hang them up at once. 
You have taught me something, Habibi. Rather than dwelling upon my problems, had I but sought a solution, I would have been a happier man. I thank you for this piece of wisdom, which will benefit my neighbors as well as Salam, as well as myself. Salam alaikum. It looks like a sleek, well-fed cat with a taste for fish. All right, so I've, I'm making people happy. This is what I'm doing. Bless you a thousand times, good sir. May your charity win you a place in paradise. I hope so. Yalla, the wind blows sweet today. As for you, you look like a foreign heathen, but if you have good coin, I will sell to you. It's very generous of you. I can sell you a single cut for six falls. Which would be... One and two. You have brought me this simply because I wanted it? No one has ever shown me a kindness like this before. Your good example makes me ashamed to think I should be so callous... It's those I criticize and let this poor boy go hungry when I have food to spare. Come here, little one. I will feed you and clothe you and raise you as my son in honor of this good man. Mama! I don't want to know what's going on back there. I shall name him Joshua. Okay, so we're doing good. I am most grateful for you giving... It was the smell of fish that was driving me mad. I have the best grain in all of Jerusalem. How may I serve you? He's got grain. We're making good progress. Hopefully I'm not wasting my money. Odd that the inn should be locked. Okay. So all I've got left is this sleazy guy. And the guy who's got grain. Actually, did I give the lamp merchant anything? I bought stuff off of him, but did I give him anything? Ask about. I, I did not f fix his relationship. He broke a solemn oath to me. Ask about oath. Ahmed promised me that he would bring back a holy relic from his pilgrimage, but he did not, so I curse him as an oath breaker. Ask about relic. Yeah, I can't spell pit and rummage. All right. Ask about relics. Gladly I will sell you a relic, but first you must tell me, what is the name of the saint whose relic you wish to buy? Well, um, uh, Saint Peter. I can spell Peter, probably. Uh, saint Peter, yes, I have a relic of Saint Peter, normally three dinar. On sale today for two dinar, but I like you. You have an honest face, so for you only one dinar. Spending all my money. Wait but an instant. A great pleasure to do business with you. Oh, did I mention I also have a cup called the Grail? Yeah, right. I'm not even falling for that. Give relic. Good sir, I am speechless. Surely my cousin Ahmed has sent this through you as an offering of peace between us. Now I am ashamed that I have behaved in such a petty way. Please, I beg you, take this broom and give it to Ahmed that he may know that this is my apology. Time? Okay. I don't suppose your name is Ahmed. Uh, nope, he is not. Does anybody here know an Ahmed? Is there an Ahmed in the city? I 
I am sorry, but without a broom, I cannot open for business. Weird. But there's a broom. Yellow, you have managed to part Tariq from his broom, and you give this to me, but surely why? This can only mean it is an offering of peace for my cousin. Through you, he has forgiven me. Allah bless you, Habibi. You have brought me and my cousin together in kinship. Even though I see you are an infidel, I pray you shall one day know the ecstasy of paradise. Until then, may I offer you the hospitality of my humble inn. Excuse the mess on the floor. I will clean it while you eat and drink at no charge. I like a good inn. Ah, oh, restful. It's been a long day of giving out my money and running errands for other people. As a knight does. You have eaten well and spent a restless night being bitten by bedbugs and dreaming of Camelot, Guinevere, and the Grail. A new sense of urgency fills you. The land and people will not survive much longer unless you can find the Grail. I, I just wanted to sleep one night. I can see why you did not remain. You've gotten more flea bites from this brief visit than in all your years in Camelot. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh no, she looks sad. I dropped the cage and all my mistress's doves escaped. They will not come back and they are prized doves hand-fed by my mistress from hatchlings. She trusted me with them. I dare not go back without them. Oh, misery, Ioni. Which is a good name, by the way. I like that. Well, there's one way to get birds. One scoop of grain for one fall, two falls for the bag to carry it in, since I see you have not brought a bag for the grain. So three falls. Here is your grain. Only one way to catch a bird. Grain bomb! What if I just give her the grain and she does it? But sir, what use is grain to me? Oh my god, what command am I supposed to be using here? On ground. Where the hell else did you think I meant to drop the grain? And now you'll just... Yep, they just walk back into their cage. You thought me only a simple girl, but I am an initiate of the goddess sent to watch and test you. King Arthur, you have finished your tasks with this act of cleverness. Return to the CRS for her judgment. Thank you. Uh, yeah, Merlin, that wasn't... That thank you wasn't meant for you, Merlin. I greet you with reverence, King Arthur, for you are indeed worthy. Knowledge is your reward. Seek the star and crescent where Fatima dwells. Now that you are ready, she will admit you. She is most. She is the most powerful, though not the last, of the guardians of the sacred cup. Also take this gift. This is an apple that ends all hunger, slakes thirst, and eases weariness. May it comfort you in time in the time of greatest need. The goddess be with you. Okay, so we're not close to getting the Grail yet. But I think after our adventures in the marketplace, I am going to call this episode to an end. So I will see you guys next time as we continue our quest for the Grail. That is two of six guardians down, four to go. We're getting closer. We're only down one more night. And I think we've behaved well enough to deserve the grail, I hope. So I'll see you guys next time.